This is Sam. He's going to show you how to do an oil mist and particulate sampling. Before we begin, make sure you have a timer handy. If a moisture sample is to be obtained, go to moisture sampling and perform the test before continuing with this air sampling test. Allow your compressor to run with air flowing from the sampling point, which is located here, for at least five minutes before sampling. While that is running, grab your data sheets, which are located behind the foam lid. Step one. In your test kit, you will have input fittings that look like this. So first connect the input fitting to the flow section, which is here. Step two. Starting with the installed 200 orifice, make sure you can maintain a steady pressure in the range of nine to 12 PSI. If you cannot maintain that pressure, then change the orifice plate to a smaller orifice plate. To install or check the size of the installed orifice plate, unscrew the multi-hole noise muffler. The orifice plate is the aluminum disc with a hole in it. Record the orifice plate size on the data sheet under oil mist particulate sample data. Step three, record the filter number. To find that number, remove a filter assembly from the filter case and carefully locate the number on the screen. The number is found on the side of the filter assembly opposite of the white filter pad as shown here. Record this information on the data sheet under oil mist particulate sample data. Make sure you don't touch the filter pad, so handle the filter assembly by the sides. Step four, assemble the sampling equipment as follows. Unscrew the Champion 35 flow section and place one filter assembly in between the flow section with white filter pad facing out, as shown here. Put the two halves of the PVC flow section together. Make sure all equipment is securely tightened. Step five. Now, connect the complete unit to your air source. Open the charging lead or air source valve slowly and allow the pressure on the flow section gauge to stabilize in the PSI range indicated in your written instructions. Run the sample according to the time specified in your written instructions. Remember to record the size used during testing. Step six. You have just completed the oil mist and particulate sampling procedure. If you are not doing any additional sampling, turn off the charging lead or air source valve and disassemble the sampling equipment. Return each part to your kit. Place the filter into the supplied cup. Check that the data sheets have been correctly and completely filled out. Step seven. The final step is to ship back the data sheets and kit to TRI air testing. Shipping instructions are included in your kit. After shipping the kit back, there's nothing left to do except wait for the results. You will get a reminder when it's time for your next air test. For any questions and additional support, go to airtesting.com to contact us.